Hello everyone. So today I want to show you screen key. Now a few years back, I think it was definitely sometime in uh, 2020 or 2021. I made a video where I talked about how to display your keystrokes when you are typing something. Now this is actually possible using uh, a very simple utility called screen key, which you can install using uh, your pacman your i think it should be present so sudo pacman screen key now this utility i have it installed and uh, it is really good i thought i'll probably elaborate on my video a bit more now let us say you want to so if you if you want to get started with screen key all you need to do you you just need to run it and that is it now basically you can start typing and it will uh, show you uh, the keystrokes now this is of course very simple but we can do few other things now there is no manual page i believe if you look at a screen key you have to basically search it yourself or maybe you can take a look at the help so if you take a look at the help screen key hyphen h you can see here that uh, uh, there are like a lot of a lot of things that you can configure I just want to focus on a couple of things that you might find uh, interesting. For example, you may want to change the size of uh, your uh, text. For example, uh, if I want to use something like, uh, so basically I can, I can use hyphen S and I can do large. It will now mm, like enhance or basically increase the font size. And uh, this is of course uh, useful. You can, I believe, also do small. So this is small. So of course, you know, uh, this can be, I mean, depending upon your use case, I, I'm showing you this because I do a lot of trainings online. I do like talk to people, show them my screen and having this ability uh, where you can also show your keystrokes is definitely useful. What else? So what we can, what we can also do is uh, we can, uh, of course, you know, change change the timeout. There is also one, I mean, of course, the way you would configure these things is of course by passing maybe some arguments. For example, let us say we want to also change the background color, right? So I'll probably go back to large and I will use something like, I believe it is PG color. It is PG color, I think. So let me just check the help. It is uh, BG color, yeah, with double hyphen. So double iPhone BG color and you have to basically use uh, your hex, hex hexadecimal value here so I can actually look at my like my primary color and I can then see here that it looks quite good it is really nice and uh, if you are showing something on Emacs you know this 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 looks good now there's also one more thing that you can do. You can actually do something like uh, show settings. Now, basically, if you are not really sure about these uh, settings that you want to pass from the argument, or like from your command line, you can also do show settings. And uh, this will basically bring up the show setting or show, set show setting or is also working, but basically show settings. It, this will also like show you what you have right now and by the way you can also change the screen for example right now i have two screens zero and one so maybe i want to uh, change the screen maybe i want to uh, let us if i go back to the same same uh, command if i can press ctrl c i can also do something like hyphen i think it is uh, for screen it is i'm just trying to read yeah double hyphen scr so you can do double hyphen scr and pass here, pass here 0 or 1. 0 is basically my other screen and that is why it is not really showing anything here. But if you do 1, in, in this case it is my external uh, monitor. And that is it. I know it's a simple, simple utility but it can be really useful in case you are trying to demonstrate your keys, if, in case you want to uh, show something uh, that you're typing while you're typing because it can be useful when you're like doing some online meetings, tutorials. And that is it. That is all I want to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.